There has been people saying that this workflow is either too hard and complicated, or that it's a fake workflow. So, I'm going to show how it works real quick. It has also been claimed that I have been using hard links to images, so for this presentation I will use new images. Here you have the usual basic settings. Someone also accused me of using a paid LoRa for this. That is not true and anyone can download the LoRa here, from the official repo of Flux. Set your checkpoint, VAE, clips, and LoRa the usual way. The resolution in the Anything Depth node will resize the image impact the performance. For this presentation I will set it to 512, since recording also takes up. This group is for transferring the style, and will get the style image. Then you have the Face Detailers and Reactor nodes, which can be bypassed or used. Put in a description of the face of the style image in the face detailer prompt. You can leave the L prompt as it is, or change it if you want. I have added a bit of text in the system prompt to make the workflow even more accurate. Describe the main differences in the two images, such as black tank top, black headphones, and standing in a modern gym. Use whatever settings you usually have in the case sampler and face detailer nodes. Now we just queue the workflow and wait to see the result. The left image is a preview, showing what the image looks like before going through the face detailer node. You can experiment with the strength in the style mode apply node. Normally, setting it to medium or high is enough. Here we have the preview image, before the face detailer. And here is the final image as well. As you can see, it's not that complicated to use the workflow even though the workflow itself is complicated. There is only one thing I can think of that might be an issue. I'm using an older version of the reactor node. If you are using a newer version, you might have to switch out the reactor nodes for the ones in the new version or simply bypass the nodes. If you bypass the reactor nodes it will cause an issue with the preview image node, so in case you bypass the reactor node, I suggest you bypass the preview node as well. I hope this is clear enough for everyone to understand, and that you all get the workflow to work.